What is up guys, Xbox Winner here, but in call me Dominic, we are back here with WWE 2K20, my career mode. So, let's do this. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up with you riding with her? Relax. I offered him a ride since we're both going to the gym. Nice necklace, by the way. Real classy. Thanks. I'll get you my jeweler's info. I bet he can throw together a runner-up version in no time. Look, I know we usually ride together, but I wanted to get some extra training in since Samoa Joe basically wants to strangle me to death with his crazy cyborg arm at SmackDown 1500. I'd be happy to help you work on your submissions. After all, I had a career record of 24 and 2 in MMA. I left that necklace at home. You training me is a great idea. It could help me survive Samoa Joe, and who knows, maybe even beat him. Good. We'll get started right away. And before you say anything, I'm just looking to help. It's the only way he's going to survive the Coquina Clutch. I mean, that little reversal trick you taught him might have worked in their first match, but let's face it, he needs some real training. We'll set up a time later, partner. So what, are you friends with her now? No, it's not like that. Well, it seems like that. I mean, first you're riding with her, and now you're training with her? Did you forget this is the same person who's tormented us for 20 years? I got to ride with her one time, and besides, maybe she's changed, okay? People do that. And she was a good teammate, good enough that we won the Mixed Match Challenge. Are you trying to rub it in? Because I think your teammate's ridiculous necklace accomplished that already. And by the way, who was in charge of handling the charity money that you won? Brooklyn. She gave it to an animal shelter in our hometown. Did it ever occur to you that maybe she took the $500,000 and spent it on that awful necklace and murder coat she was wearing? I bet the animal shelter doesn't even exist. I can't assume any of that. I'm not assuming she's a terrible person. I know that. And I thought you did too. Come on. Red. Well, I can't let Trey get anything. But I don't really trust her any either. So, yeah. Uh, let's find out. That mural's kind of freaking me out. It feels like you're watching me from every angle. I am. But focus here. So when Samoa Joe gets you in the Coquina Clutch this time... Uh, how do you know he'll get me in it? It's a submission match, which means he'll be going for it early and often. So you have to be prepared. And what I was going to say before you interrupted me... Sorry, won't happen again. What I was going to say is your little trick you used against him 10 years ago when you rolled backwards to get the win isn't going to work this time. He'll be ready. And even if you pulled it off, it won't do any good because this is a submission Rivalry match. match. Rivalry submission match. Right. So I'm Samoa Joe, and I'm going to put you in the Coquina Clutch. Try to escape. Alright, let's see here who we go. Oh, I tap, I tap, I tap. Are you uh, Earth that was pathetic. person? I know. How am I ever going to beat Samoa Joe? I mean, once she cinches in that arm around my neck, it's all over. Goodbye, WWE Championship. Goodbye, Trachea. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, big ring in the sky. Hopefully. Okay, stop. You're spiraling. It's not about his arm. It's about his legs. Huh? I studied hours of footage of Samoa Joe locking in the Coquina Clutch. You're welcome. And I discovered a hidden flaw that's going to allow you to counter it and beat him. Give me your phone. Voice password? Trey and Peyton Royce forever? Voice recognition volume too low. Please try again. Trey and Peyton Royce forever. It's a joke. Please don't tell her. Anyway, like I said, I watched a lot of tape on Samoa Joe, and I discovered this. Watch his ankles. See how he crosses them? He does it every time. That's your opening to beat him. I, I, I don't get it. Of course you don't. Let me show you. Put me in the coquina clutch and make sure you cross your ankles like Joe does. What the heck was that? The secret to not getting the life choked out of you and walking away with your WWE championship. <sighs> wow, this is weird to say with all our history, but I don't know what I'd be doing right now without your help. I guess I've been in a charitable mood lately. Well, seriously, thanks for teaching me this. So, I guess we're good to go now? Are you kidding? You haven't actually learned how to do the counter yet. On your back. 
We're going to start with a hip motion. I'll film on your phone so you can watch it back later. It locked again. Trey and Peyton Royce forever. Okay then, I don't feel like that was a good idea, but let's find out, I guess. Welcome to the special 1500th episode of SmackDown Live. SmackDown Live has been the home of some amazing matches over the years, and tonight we continue that tradition with the long-awaited, much-anticipated battle between Trey and Samoa Joe. This submission match for the WWE Championship is seven years in the making. Going back to Trey's debut when he shocked the WWE Universe and Samoa Joe. But tonight on SmackDown 1500, will Joe finally get his revenge? SmackDown 1500, you say? Jesus, that's a lot of episodes. Alright, let's do this, I guess. Hey, what are you doing? Studying my training footage. I think I actually have a chance tonight, thanks to Brooklyn. Yeah, about her. I don't want to get into it again. I need to focus on my match. I actually wanted to apologize. I might have been acting a little crazy lately. A little? Okay, slightly more than a little. I called the animal shelter that Brooklyn said she donated the money to, and turns out she wasn't lying. See? I told you she's changed. I think I just got caught up with us competing against each other in the Mixed Match Challenge. And then I felt like I was losing my best friend to pretty much the worst person I could imagine. But maybe she's not the worst person after all. There's probably some terrible dictators or criminals on death row who are slightly worse. That's very big of you to say that. So you should be cool with the fact that Brooklyn is going to be in my corner tonight then, right? I need her out there to coach me through the technique she taught me. Totally cool with that. Not bothered at all. Besides, You're I have bothered. a big announcement to focus on. About what? Well, I decided to get back to concentrating on the list. And there's one thing on there I always wanted to accomplish, but it never seemed possible. Especially when Brooklyn was GM. No offense to your new BFF. But since this is a very special episode of SmackDown Live, it's the perfect time to make it happen. Good luck tonight. Seriously. Hey, you finally said it. And I meant it. I wonder what a big announcement is. I guess we'll find out. Tonight, we celebrate 1,500 episodes of SmackDown Live. On nights like this, we look back at the amazing superstars who helped us get here. For me, personally, when I was an awkward teenager, the thought that I could someday do this seemed like a total long shot. But I was inspired by women like Beth Phoenix, The Bellas, Natalia, and Mickey James. Around that time, I created this list of goals I'd someday want to accomplish if I ever made it to WWE. Well, I think I've more than made it. But there's one thing on this list that all those women I mentioned accomplished. But I never have. Because it's kind of impossible now. But if I've learned anything on my journey, it's that nothing is truly unattainable. The goal I'm referring to is winning the title that I grew up watching. The WWE Divas Championship. Like Are you serious? Kind of hard to do considering it hasn't existed in almost 15 years. But I'm proposing that WWE bring the Divas Championship back so I can honor the women who blazed a path for me and prove that no dream is ever hopeless or unimaginable. Wait, what? And you want me to tell her right now? Oh shit, what does Marco Cole have to say? I'm sorry, but I was just told to inform you that the Divas Championship is already spoken for. Already spoken for? It hasn't existed in over a decade. How is that even possible? They said you would hear more in the very near future. That's all I know. What just happened? 
I have no idea, but apparently someone in the back has other plans for the Divas Championship. Um, okay then? Sure, whatever. Alright, so, let's do this. Why am I coming out first, may I ask? That's what I want to know. Here comes Trey, the WWE Champion. Alright, versing Samoa Joe, let's do this, I guess. Alright, let's go. Get him to red health. Oh, um, pop. Glad I've got a submission hold now. Beautiful cutter. Okay. Let's work on his head. I want him up, thank you. Oh no. Jeez. See ya. Nice elbow drop. Oh, kind of an elbow drop, sure. Sling blade into the drop kick to the side of the face. Nice elbow drop. Picks him up. Oh, kicks to the face. Alright, throwing him outside to the apron, what's we looking for, oh, pile driver, oh, to the outside, holy moly, damn, let's go, get up, get on up, Nice reversal by Joe. Jeez, that was a good reversal. Get on out of my ring. Ooh. Strike to the face. Belly to back. Suplex on the apron. God damn. Okay. Alright, let's go. Misses. Oh no. Damn. Comeback time, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Nice spear. Oh, belly to belly suplex right there. Performance grounded submission. So is that that? Nope. That's a reversal. Alright, roll out. Thank you. Oh no, belly to belly suplex. Stomps in the corner. Let's go. Submission. What are you getting him up for? What are you getting him? Oh no, cocaine and glitch. But he's not crossing his feet. What's the matter? Not like you planned. It looked like Trey attempted a counter. Wait, what? What the hell? As he is the new WWE champion. She's gonna turn on me, isn't she? Yep, I knew it. Yuranagi. Oh, god damn. It had to be a high 
hindsight's 2020, but Brooklyn Von Braun's change of heart was way too good to be true. Saxton, you said Brooklyn was going to be the difference. I knew it. If she and Samoa Joe have formed an alliance, and it would appear that they have, Red and Trey's lives are going to be changed forever. Well, I knew she was going to turn on me. God dang it. All right, let's move on. And that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see some more WWE 2K20 My Career Mode. So, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.